Hi everyone, um, welcome to the Data Exchange webinar series for the Targeted Early Intervention Program. This is the first webinar in a series of 12 to help you understand how to access, use, and make the most out of the Data Exchange. Today's webinar is really easy. We're just going to introduce everybody to the Data Exchange. There are three key things that we'll cover. So we'll talk about what the Data Exchange is and why we're using it. I'll take you through where to find useful resources and where to go for help. And I'll also talk about the newsletters you can sign up to to continue to receive useful information about the program. So the Data Exchange is a reporting platform. So in the TEI program, we are using the Data Exchange to report information about the services we deliver, our clients and the outcomes they achieve. So using the data exchange will better enable us to clearly understand who our clients are. We can track client pathways through the service system, and we can also use the data we report to demonstrate the impact of our services on client and community outcomes. Our ultimate goal is to have a high quality data set that clearly tells us who our clients are and what their needs are. So we can use this information to make sure that the right people get the right support at the right time. And the data we report into the data exchange is going to help us understand what works for our clients and what we can do better to um, achieve greater outcomes for them and for the communities. Over the coming weeks, sorry, the slides are mucking up. Over the coming weeks, we'll talk more and more about the different ways we can use the data exchange and how useful it's going to be for our program. But I just want to show you really quickly some of the information you'll already, you'll be able to see when you start reporting. So the graphs you can see on this slide show some of the key demographic information service providers have already reported for the TI program. So when you start entering data and you access your reports, you will be able to see this same information about your own clients. You'll have age breakdowns of clients. You'll be able to see how many are homeless or at risk of homelessness, what disabilities people have, what languages people speak, and a whole lot more. And we can use this information to make sure we're addressing our clients' needs in the best possible way and that they're receiving the right service that, for them. The next slide is some of the information about referrals that has already been recorded in the data exchange. So we can already start to see how clients are coming into contact with DEI services. Some are being referred by health agencies or the educational agencies. There are lots of internal referrals and lots of self-referrals. And we can also see the reasons why people are coming to our services, which is obviously really useful information that can help us ensure clients get the service that is right for them. So already we're starting to see really useful information about um, how clients are navigating the service system and what their needs are. And this is only going to become more and more useful as more organisations collect and report information into the data exchange. So many of you will be using the data exchange for the first time. Like anything new, it will at times seem quite overwhelming. And there is quite a bit of work that needs to be done to make sure we're all collecting the right information and that we're all reporting it correctly. So we have tried to simplify this process for you in a document called the Data Exchange Quick Start Guide. This is a five page document that outlines 11 key steps you need to follow to access and start using the Data Exchange. So it includes links to all the key resources you need to complete each step. And as you can see on the slide, it also includes a checklist so you can keep track of what step you're up to and hopefully also feel some sense of accomplishment as you begin to navigate the data exchange. 
The first two steps in this guide are to access training materials and resources and to subscribe to the relevant newsletters. So I am going to take you through these steps right now. So in regards to accessing resources, there are two key websites you will need to be familiar with. There is the TEI website, which is the website hosted by DCJ. And this has all of the resources about the Targeted Early Intervention Program. There is also the Data Exchange website. So that website is hosted by the Commonwealth Department of Social Services because they are the ones who manage the data exchange. And that website includes all of the resources you need to actually use and navigate the DEX portal. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you to the TI website and we're going to spend a little bit of time exploring that. If you just give me a quick second while I... Stop sharing my screen and reshare my screen. Okay. So this is the TDI website. As you can see, there are nine different um, pages you can go to that have useful information about the TDI program. Hopefully anything, any, any piece of information you'll ever need at any point in time will be on one of these pages. So page number five, titled The Data Exchange, is where you can find all of the resources we've developed to help you get onto and start using DEX. So I'm just going to click on that and hopefully it will take me to that page. Yes. So when we scroll down, we can see that there's information about what the data exchange is, why we're using it. And if you continue to scroll, you get to this section about how do I get started. So the first resource you can see there is the Data Exchange Quick Start Guide, so the document I just walked you guys through. Then there are three other resources about actually getting onto the Data Exchange. So if you haven't got your MyGov ID or your RAM or you haven't accessed the portal yet, have a look at these resources because they'll, be, they'll walk you through the process of how to do that. There are also two frequently asked question documents, one about MyGov ID and RAM and one about the data exchange. So if you ever get stuck or if you ever have a question about any of these um, websites or programs, please um, take a look at those documents because they'll hopefully include the answer to your question. If we scroll down a little bit further, we can see these three key resources here. So before you start reporting, I strongly recommend that um, you take a look at these documents. They're the key resources that everybody really needs to be across in order to understand what the data exchange is and how to use it. So the first one is the data exchange protocols. This is basically a manual for using the data exchange. I strongly encourage everyone to read this document. It describes the different elements of the data exchange it includes definitions and explanations of key concepts. It is quite a long document, but it is a really good introduction and overview of everything that you need to know about DEX. The second is the program specific guidance for state agencies in the data exchange. So lots of different organizations use the data exchange, different um, government departments for different programs. So this document provides information about using DEX that is specific to the TEI program. The third document is the TEI Data Collection and Reporting Guide. So this document was developed by me and my team, and it's a resource that outlines how the TEI program is going to use the data exchange. It covers what data needs to be collected, how we'll measure outcomes, and general rules and guidance for data collection and reporting. Again, I strongly encourage everyone to read this document. It provides an overview of all of the information you need about using DEX for the TEI program, and it links you to other resources we've developed at relevant stages. If we scroll down a little bit further, there is another section titled, How Will We Help You? This has even more resources to help you with different stages of reporting. So the first two are at the top, the quick start guide and getting onto DEX. Once you've done that, there's a resource to help you set up your outlets. There's a resource to help you figure out how to set up your cases and your sessions. There's documents about what information you need to record in DEX. 
There's documents about measuring and reporting outcomes. And there's even a resource there about your consent and about the obligations your organization has to seek consent from your clients to store their information in your data exchange. This may be overwhelming. Please, please don't stress. My advice would be to just download the quick start guide, work your way through the steps that are in that document, and it will tell you when to use each of these other resources, when it's actually necessary when you get to that step. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back up the top here. I'm going to click on another important page that's available up here, number eight, titled Stay Up to Date. Just going to click on that. Hopefully it will load. Okay, so if we scroll down a little bit, we can see these are all of the TI newsletters that have been sent out. So please, 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 please subscribe to the TEI newsletter. This is where you will um, receive information about the TEI program, about changes that are occurring, new support and resources that are available, updates that we've made to existing resources, any additional webinars or forums that we're running, anything that we think is actually going to be useful to the sector is sent out via that TI newsletter. So you need to make sure you're subscribed so you regularly receive updates about what's happening and where you can go to for support. So all of the TI newsletters that have been sent out previously are available on the website. So if you ever miss a newsletter or if you're looking for certain information and you can't find it, you can come here to find a um, previous newsletter that's been sent out. Now, I also want to show you the key TI page. So I'm just going to click up here on number nine, key TI resources. Hopefully that will load as well. So this page includes all of the key resources that have been developed for the entire TI program. We have information about contracting, there is information about program logics, there's more information about privacy because we know some organizations need support with that. And then all of the data exchange resources are available here as well. And there's a specific section for measuring outcomes. We have local data packs that include um, data for each LGA across all of New South Wales. You can check them out if you're interested. And we have documents specifically for sector development organizations. So please, if you're ever looking for anything to do with the TEI program, please come straight to our website, bookmark it so you can find it really easily, whatever it is you have to do. Just remember to always come here first because if you've got an issue or a question you need answered, chances are you can find the answer here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data exchange website. I am going to have to stop sharing and reshare again, unfortunately. Just give me one second. Sorry, guys. Okay. So this is the data exchange website. So when you finally get access to the data exchange, this is where you'll go to log in to the web-based platform. So you can see there's a little portal login button over here. What you can also see is that there are some key resources available on their homepage. So one of the most important documents, like I mentioned earlier, is the data exchange protocol. So you can download that directly from here. You can also download it from our website because we've got it on there too. Just please make sure that you do download it from somewhere and that you do take a look at it. Um, what you can also do, so what I normally do when I go to this website and I'm looking for information on something specific, I'll click this little button down here that says view all resources. So when you click on that, you'll take into a page it has all of the resources about the data exchange. You can see there's 103 resources in total. And they have lots of different types of resources. So there are fact sheets, learning modules, task cards, and webinars. If I click on this little fact sheet box, you can see that there are 28 fact sheets that have been developed. If I was to click on task card, you can see there's 34. The task cards are probably one of the most useful documents that they have on this website. So these include screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions of how to use different parts of the data exchange. 
So I'm just going to show you one really quickly. If we click on this, add a case, you can see it takes you to that page to download the document. You can download it as a PDF or as a Word document, or you can also just click on the image and it will take you straight to it. Just waiting for it to load. So one of the really useful things about this is that it includes screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions for how to complete a specific task. So this one is about adding a case. So when you're ready to start entering the data, you can download the task card for the specific task that you need to complete and um, follow the steps in that document to help you do that. Some of the other really useful resources are the learning modules. So there are 18 different learning modules on their website and they are all about specific tasks that you need to complete as well. So you can see they've got one for add a case, adding a client, adding a session, a score assessment. So again, when you're ready to start entering your data and you need to complete a specific action, you can come and um, take a look at these learning modules if you get stuck and it will walk you through the process that you need to follow. Um, if we just scroll back up to the top, I'm going to click on this little button that says notifications and updates. So DSS also have a um, newsletter specifically for the data exchange. This normally includes reminders that a reporting period is ending. It'll tell you about updates or changes to the system, updates to reports, anything that you might need to know about using the data exchange platform. So I strongly recommend you sign up to this newsletter as well to make sure you're getting all of the information you need about, about your reporting and about using the platform. And you can also see all of their previous updates are available for anyone to download from the website in case you've missed anything. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my PowerPoint slides very quickly. I seem to have lost them. Give me one second, sorry. Okay, there we go. I've got the PowerPoint slides back up. So I just want to reiterate that um, these are the key documents that you really, really need to take a look at. So the data exchange protocols, the TI data collection and reporting guide, and the quick start guide. So for those of you who haven't started reporting yet or who are a little bit lost in using the data exchange, please take a look at these resources and they'll hopefully provide you with the information you need to get started and to help wrap your head around everything. The next thing I want to show you is where you can go for help if you need it. So there is obviously the data exchange website that I just went through. And if you ever have any technical issues with using the platform, you can always call the DSS helpline or you can email them. There is also the TEI website that I just took you through, and you can also contact DCJ staff through the TEI mailbox. You can see the email there on the screen. This is checked daily by myself and by other central office staff. So if you do ever have any um, issues or any problems that need to be addressed, please, by all means, shoot us an email and we'll try to help you work your way through that. And for those of you who are yet to get onto the data exchange, you can also visit the MyGovID and RAM websites for assistance if you need to, or you can call their helpline as well. Um, subscribe to relevant newsletters. So this is just another reminder that um, there are two newsletters that we would like everybody to sign up to. The first is the TEI Inform, and the second is the data exchange newsletter. And there are hyperlinks on this page to... Um, take you directly to those websites. I'm just going to show this slide super quickly again to wrap up. So these are the first two steps in the quick start guide to the data exchange that I've just taken you through. I strongly encourage you to hop onto those websites and download those documents to help get you started. We, on the TEI website, we update our resources quite frequently. So it's going to be really great for you to be as familiar as possible with that website so you know exactly where to go to get the most up-to-date information. And lastly, that's, that's it for today. Um, so in our next webinar, we're going to talk you through the next two steps in the Quick Start Guide. We're trying to get your MyGov ID and RAM to access the data exchange. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll, um, I'll see you in the next webinar.